As I neared the altar, I suddenly felt the reaver quickening of its own volition. Just as in William's chapel, the balance of power tangibly shifted. Voracious and willful, the soul reaver was now in control, and I merely its helpless puppet. The reaver plunged itself into that mysterious altar, and devouring the energy that emanated from within, drained this place of its power. Thus sated, the reaver released me, and I realized as I recovered control that these ancient shrines were forges, each purpose built to enhance the reaver with elemental power. Now I understood the purpose of the mysterious basins I had seen throughout my journey. They were elemental fonts, each attuned to a fundamental essence. When I forged the blade, every font in Nosgoth with the same elemental attunement was simultaneously quickened. The Reaver's enhancements were never permanent, but these fonts enabled me to re-imbue the blade by bathing it in the elemental energy distilled therein. Concentric circles, one eclipsing the other. I recognized this symbol from the door sealing that other ancient shrine, the one I had seen in the lake outside the Seraphan stronghold. Perhaps now, armed as I was with the elemental power of darkness, I could return and gain entry.